All right. So where are your files? All right, they're in a folder called 3D. 3D printing. Yeah, <laughs> and then their STL files are in there. I'm gonna copy this. So. So you want to go to Object Studio, and it will open. Um, it'll start up with um, the tray settings. Okay. Um, this is basically where you arrange everything. Um, let's see if I remember how to rotate. Alt, middle click is to rotate. Okay. And scroll is not zoom. How do you zoom? Uh, alt and right mouse <laughs> button. Alt and oh, right. Like Ma Maya? Alt and... No. no. <laughs> Is it this a uh, middle mouse scroll? It, it <laughs> oh, you have to scroll up. Yes. You can't... Well, now it's working. Yes. It was not working before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going crazy, I swear. Alright, so you need... The very top STL fold. There you go. Okay. And we'll grab all of these. Wait. Oh, it won't drag and drop. Just do one at a time? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you can import them all. Oh, really? Yeah. And it'll all arrange them if you do that. Cool. Now, its auto arrangement is uh, not the best. Okay. Oh, wow. I like that. That would be some great printing right there. We can <laughs> we can eat them. <laughs> they look like little pills. Right, so those are on the wrong format. Uh, so or wrong size. Yeah, we're going well, to auto format if we go up. I think five it's five ten. ten. Yeah. Oh, it just decided to do one of them. <laughs> Sweet. Oh my gosh. So can you do one at a time and it'll spread them out, or will they sit on top of each other? Um, you can do. I don't... Yeah, if you select all of them, it's going to scale all of them okay. uniformly. Um, so we want to just move the decimal place, I think. It's still just going to do it yeah. all the time. Alright, so we're just going to take one at a time and we're going to just size them up and throw them onto randomly on the, the screen right now, right? Yep. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and kill this. So once you have your build bed ready, um, you can perform automatic placement. It's up here. Did we save it beforehand or no? Was it automatically? Um, it has an autosave, but we'll save it. Um, uh, before we print. Okay. Um, That's why we have a building sideways. Yeah. So it does this sometimes. <laughs> That's all cool. It, it just really wants that building to be sideways. There's a gutter and everything. Yeah. Right. So left click, we'll transform it. Let's do 45. Look at you. That's good. It's not quite there. Um, the apply button just applies the transformation. Yep. Um, Alright, so let's take a look. Make sure it's flat on the table. It can sometimes be difficult to see that. Too. Yeah, totally. They'll all be placed on support material anyway. Yeah, to just brush it off with the lie and. Yep. All right, that looks pretty good. All right. Um, so after you perform um, the automatic placement, yep. Um, if you don't have any changes to what it thinks is 
the correct placement. Go to validate. Okay. Um, it'll. Well, then where was that under? It's right next to placement. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's complaining that you have some bad STL files. Okay. Which happened before. Yep, it happened yeah. before and it worked okay. So yep. we'll just keep our fingers crossed. Yep. So which ones are bad? The orange ones or the blue? All ones? the orange ones. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll go to estimate, which is next to validate. Okay. So this is step by step. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it'll take a look at how much you have, how much uh, material it's going to use. So I'll use um, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Okay. Uh, yep. And it'll take 13 hours to build. Okay. So once you've done that, um, you go to Job Manager. You want to make sure that you have enough material okay. with about 200 grams as a cushion. Okay. Um, so. Is it 500 or was it 844? 844 and 246. Okay. So that's more than enough in there. Okay. Um, and then you'll want to use the KVM, the switch. Okay. Um, push the button on the left okay. to swap to the object, um, and you'll want to. This is when you would do your pattern test. Okay. Um, and do we need to do that or no? Um, we'll need to do it. Yes. Okay. But just so you have a record of it, you would then go into go to online mode. Okay. We're gonna um, leave it off just to make sure it doesn't actually print without doing the pattern test. Okay. Um, and then you would go to um, build okay. here. Um, it'll complain that automatic placement hasn't been performed. If you've changed anything since you did automatic placement, it's okay. okay. Um, and then it'll ask you to save the um, tray you have. Okay. Eventually. Yeah. So, again, complaining. And then this is when you would save it. Um, so, and then you would save it and we would continue going on. But we're going to do the pattern test first. Okay. okay. Alright, so, pattern test. You want to put it on to the bed. To tape down the piece. Um, Make sure you put tape on all four corners. Um, it's tempting to just put it on tape, but uh, I've had it catch before. Okay. And it's backing. Um, it'll put its band right about here, so just bear that in mind if you already have stuff on the paper, if you've done a previous pattern test or one out on the same sheet. Up. Then ignore that. Um, you want to go to options and pattern test. You can also just press F3. Okay. Um, I checked beforehand. Make sure you check and make sure the build is the tray is clear. Okay. You don't want to leave your tape in there or something. Sure. And it will take about, I want to say, 7 to 14 minutes to warm up its print heads. Um, this button here will swap between the monitoring function and uh, the, the current data function. Okay. Um, so right now it says it's warming the heads, and you can take a look and see that these are, are going up. If anything here is red, it means that something is wrong. Okay. So, so um, the cancel. one... Yeah, you would want to cancel. Uh, it's another thing that can cause that is if the waste container is um, higher than 1,500 grams. Okay. Um, there is when it's purging its head throughout the printing process, it um, dumps material into a waste bin, okay. um, and if that gets too high, we have to pull it out and swap in a new one. Okay. Yep. So we'll have to wait in order for. So once it's done. You can pull it out. Now this is a good pattern test. I have an example of a bad one. Good for you.
So all of those little tiny lines in there are filled in. Okay. Now this is an example of one with, with some issues. Okay. Um, so there are two lines there and two lines there that aren't filled in. Yeah. Um, but if there are a couple lines missing, what you can do is just flip the paper do another um, test. and do another, another one. Head, head okay. Yeah, don't flip it upside down because this is actually the... Believe the through. Yeah. Okay. Um, but if you have more issues, you're going to want to um, clean the heads. Okay. So... And that's under options and it's wizard's head cleaning. Okay. It's the same one you use at the end of every print. Okay. All right. Yeah. And now you are ready to, to print. So I'm going to close this. So we can go online. Swap over. It's crazy. Um. And what did you just set up there? Oh, I just finished before saving the tray. Okay. Um, that was under build. Okay. And then little save the tray. Okay. And now it's ready to go. You'll hear the fans start up. And, um, down. This is the one that's currently being printed. Okay. Um, under time, it'll give you some time estimates. It'll also show the slices that are sent to it. So each slice is a layer. So it goes eight at a time. Okay. So you can see that it has 13 remaining. Sweet. Um, and then this right here in the corner is the build? Yep, that's that's a preview of what's being... Approximate. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right, so we've got 13 hours. And some change. Yep. Okay. Now... It about this a little bit. All right. Okay, Recording. so... When everything is done, you'll have to write down the amount left and the total use. But for okay. right now, we can put down um, that we're printing today. So at the end, you want to write down how much material is left. That's going to be under um, the tray, the job manager. You'll have it here, how much okay. support and uh, material is there. Okay, so we write that down now, right now. And then you write down the total you've used so far. Okay. So that way you can keep a running um, number of how much material. So should we write that down right now, what we have so far? Um, that's what it was previously. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll just carry over. Okay. Yeah. So you can see it hasn't lost much.